Good morning from Roma, Fiumicino Airport and welcome to a new video. Today I'm flying with the brand new airline Eurowings Discover to Frankfurt and then I will continue my journey on the Lufthansa A320 to Hamburg. Lufthansa sold this flight as an Air Dolomiti flight but it's operated by Eurowings Discover. The aircraft on this flight is an Airbus A330. In case you didn't know, this is a long haul aircraft. Eurowings Discover operates flights from Frankfurt to Barcelona and Rome to train their crew members for long haul flights. They usually fly to touristic destinations like Kenya, Namibia or Punta Cana. As this flight is sold as an Air Dolomiti flight, I should actually still have launch access. The Star Alliance lounge is closed, but they told me I can use the Plaza Premium lounge. I was quite impressed by this lounge. It was a clean, modern and bright place to stay. There are also some seats with more privacy where you can get some work done. On every table there's a QR code and then you can order breakfast from your phone. Somehow I couldn't order from my phone, so I went to the counter and I had to order manually. So here's my breakfast for today, which I had to eat really quick, because it's already time to leave the lounge and to go to the gate. It took me about 10 minutes to walk from the lounge to the gate. In the meantime, let me show you the aircraft for today's flight. I was able to spot it when I was sitting in the lounge earlier. The aircraft is the 16-year-old Airbus A330. The first owner of this exact plane was actually Qatar Airways. So let's continue our walk to gate E24, where they already started boarding. I was pretty lucky on this flight. My seat 12K was not only a more legroom seat, it was actually a premium economy seat. The seats are much wider and they offer a better legroom as well. So let's have a look at the seat which has a nice adjustable headrest. The seats had a coat hook and an in-flight entertainment screen. a seat pocket and you can store two bottles between the seats. The tray table is located in the armrest but let's just leave it there because we are already about to depart. The flight time to Frankfurt is about 1 hour and 40 minutes. We are in the air and let's have a closer look at the seat. The legroom is pretty well actually, it's more than 40 centimeters. And there's also a footrest. Let's check out the in-flight entertainment now. Well, if there was something to check out, it was actually disabled. So this is how the seat looks like in total, fully reclined. Between the seats there was also a remote control for the in-flight entertainment, but you can also use it to call the crew or to turn on your light. Between the seats there were also two power outlets, so you don't have to share it with your neighbor.
Eurix Discover does also not offer Wi-Fi on their flights. Here we are in the laboratory and that's exactly what I expected in an AP30. Later I had a seat in the normal economy class. And the first thing I noticed, the legroom was pretty tight here. Between the seats there were also just USB ports and the IFE screens were a bit smaller. It's also depending on the price, but I think on long haul I would definitely consider to book a seat with more legroom. So back on my seat I also got a bottle of water, which was the only service on this flight. So here's what you can find in the seat pocket in front of you. Let's have a closer look into the onboard bar and onboard shop magazine. On the long haul flights, your rings discover sells drinks like wine or snacks like pretzels or twigs. You cannot pay by cash, only by card. The other magazine was not so interesting for me. I would never buy sunglasses on board, for example. So what can I say about Eurings Discover? First of all, it was amazing to be on a long-haul aircraft again. The experience on board was okay, the legroom and economy was really tight. I'm also wondering if there's actually no in-flight entertainment or if they charge their customers for using it like their competitor Condor does. Spending like 10 hours on a flight and not having an in-flight entertainment can be a bit boring. Well, this was my short summary. What do you think about your Rings Discover? Leave a comment down below. Welcome to Frankfurt, Germany's biggest airport. I'll only have a really short stay here before connecting to my flight to Hamburg. We parked on an outside position right next to this Air Canada Boeing 787. This means we'll have a short bus ride to the terminal. The good thing about bus boarding or deboarding, you are much closer to many aircraft. Here's the Boeing 747, the queen of the skies. Lufthansa is one of the last airlines which still used the Boeing 747. The bus ride took some time and there are many passengers on board. I was actually quite sure that I've already missed my flight. So we are finally at the terminal. Let's have a look at which gate my flight departs. My flight departs from gate A24 and apparently it's still open. So let's continue to walk and let's hope the best. And you may already noticed, there's definitely no time to visit the lounge today. Surprisingly, I actually made it in time. I was sitting in 24F, which was the last available window seat when I checked in online. We don't really have to check out the seat, because that's what I've been doing on many other Lufthansa videos. So let's just start with the departure. Flight time from Frankfurt to Hamburg is about 50 minutes. The flight today was quite well booked, there was not a single empty seat. But apparently the aircraft was equipped with Flynet. This means we may even have internet connection. Apparently there was free Wi-Fi available. It was a bit slow, but I was able to post Instagram stories or to send text messages, so I can't really complain. After checking out the Wi-Fi, I just enjoyed the views over Germany.
the service now was a bit more than on the previous flight. We did not only get a bottle of water, there was also some small chocolate. A few minutes later, we were already flying over Hannover, the capital of Lower Saxony. Which means we are already close to Hamburg. Enjoy the landing! Welcome to Hamburg. It's my first time here in more than 10 years. Hamburg is the second biggest city of Germany. The second flight was not so eventful, but anyways, thank you for joining me on this one as well. Lufthansa still has a strict deboarding policy and I was one of the last passengers leaving the aircraft. Thank you for joining me on my flights today and now let me announce something for next week. On my next video I'm on Singapore Airlines 5th Freedom flight from Copenhagen to Rome. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and to hit the bell and you will notify it as soon as the video is out. Until then I wish you a great week and see you next week for the Singapore Airlines video.